So hello guys, welcome to my vlog again. Uh, we have a new book to review. The title is What If It's Too Late? Written by Neil Jed Castro. So it's a poetry book. Locally published. So the author is a Filipino. This is actually, I think, his second book. Mm, and let's look at the the physical appearance of the book. So here's the cover. I like the the rose and the calligraphy. So it's the back cover. and the spine so it's published by ABS-CBN books and the paper is white it's not cream this time it's white so I have some uh, personal favorites piece pieces from this uh, from this poetry collection so I bookmarked them with the flowers watercolor flowers that I made so I've got four personal favorites pieces and uh, basically it's about uh, doing something now if you have to act on it, act on it before it's too late. So let's just uh, look at uh, the favorites. The first favorite is, favorite piece is this one, Real Friends. Real Friends. So true friends are rare, they are hard to find, but real friends age like wine. They are honest, devoid of pretensions, they can be brutal, but they truly care. They'll stick around in your meltdowns. They'll cheer you up in your, in your dark times. Their concern for you is true. You'll never be lost in this journey with them along the way. That's what the definition of a real friend and if you're blessed enough you have real friends another favorite is this one big hearted another flower big hearted so big hearted there are people who seem to absorb everything thrown at them they take things with a grain of salt, so to speak. They always see the bigger picture. They are naturally kind and do not hold grudges. Their heart tends to be so big that they do not have rooms for hate and envy. They always choose to be silent rather than it be in an argument. They just love peace. They aren't weak as some people accuse them to be. In fact, they are very strong, for it takes courage to be forgiving in this cruel world. Cruel world. So I'm praying, and I'm on the process to be a person with a big heart. Yeah, so it really takes a courage to be forgiving with this kind of world that we live in. So I agree with the writer. I agree with you, Neil. Alright, so let's have my third favorite. So it's God's Child. My heart is heavy and full of pain. I pray that my sacrifices will not be in vain. I succumb to self-pity at times and my confidence is shaking. My voice is starting to tremble, but then I realized that I am God's child. I should be full of hope and light. My faith should be unwa unwavering. Because he is with me along the way all this time. 
A journey full of thorns is nothing compared to the eternal happiness within God's child. I am God's child. Last favorite is a better chapter. Every one of us is praying for a better chapter. So let me read this piece again. A better chapter. I am not the happiest human just yet. But I am now in a better chapter of my life's journey. My burden has gotten lighter because my faith has grown stronger. How I can now genuinely smile, one thing I haven't done in a while. Gone are those days of loneliness. Sad memories may still linger, linger but they no longer bother me in our peace. Yes. So I am in a better chapter of my life. Because my faith has grown stronger. So that's it. That's it for the what if it's too late. And uh, I like the synopsis. Broken heart is not a weakness. Sometimes it's a blessing in disguise. Once you find its strength, you can conquer everything. Someday your heart will be whole again, overflowing with so much love. And so much love from this book.